Hi kiddos! Today we'll be solving problems with addition or subtraction. Our learning target is, I can use the math facts I know to help me solve problems. So, let's get started with a story problem about some marbles. As I read this, imagine it in your brain. I have seven marbles. Some are blue and some are red. I have two blue marbles. So how many red marbles do I have? Okay, can you picture it in your imagination? Now, the first step we're going to do to make sure we solve this problem accurately is figure out what it wants us to know. What is it asking us to figure out? Let's look for the question. Hunt for the sentence that has a question mark at the end. Here it is. How many red marbles do I have? Okay, that's what we need to figure out here. How many of those seven marbles are red? I'm gonna do one of these charts to help organize our thinking. At the top, we have the box that stands for the whole amount of marbles I have. And then the bottom two are gonna be for the blue and the red marbles. So. Altogether, there were seven marbles, and some of those marbles were blue, and some were red. Do what? What numbers do we know? Do we? Yeah. Okay. We know there were two blue marbles, so I'll put a two in front of that. But we don't know how many red marbles there were. That was our question, so I put a question mark. equation could we write to solve this problem? Think for a moment and jot one down. Are you ready? These are the two that most students write when they see this problem. They write one or the other. Either they imagine it like seven marbles and take away the two blue ones. That would give you the number of red ones left over. Or they picture it like two blue marbles plus some red marbles is seven altogether using adding. The reason why that works is we've created a fact family triangle here. There's the seven marbles, here's the two blue marbles, and here's the mystery number of red. In a fact family, you can actually write four equations that all work with the problem. They all have a seven, a two, and a question mark. Think of them as flip-flops. You could solve two plus question mark equals seven, or you could solve question mark plus two equals seven. Kind of the same with the subtracting. Seven minus two is question mark, but seven minus question mark would be two. They all work because they're in that same family. So, choose one of those equations from the family that will help you figure out how many red marbles are there. This part depends on what you like. Some kids prefer to add, some kids prefer to subtract, but they'll both get you the answer. Take a moment and figure out how many red marbles I had. All right, you should have got five red marbles as your answer. If you did, nice job. For our assignment today, we're going to do almost exactly the same activity. Let me show you the work you're going to turn in today. Here's a Google Doc where you'll be doing your work. There's a very similar problem here with marbles and some of them are red and some of them are blue, but I changed the numbers this time. Listen to this story. I have eight marbles. Five marbles are red and the rest are blue. How many blue marbles do I have? Okay, I numbered the steps you're going to need to take. Step one is highlight the question the story is asking. To highlight something in a Google Doc, you take your mouse and drag across it. Then you can use 
this tool right here. It looks like a little marker and you pick a color to do as the background. Like you could have a blue highlight or you could have orange, whatever makes you happy. After you've highlighted the question the story is asking, whoops. <laughs> After you've highlighted the question the story is asking, you're gonna come down to one of those charts. You're gonna fill in this chart using the numbers from the problem. Put a question mark where the missing number belongs. I'll read the story one more time to help you. I have eight marbles. Five marbles are red and the rest are blue. How many blue marbles do I have? You'll fill in the chart to show what's happening in this problem. For step three, you'll write an equation that would help you solve the problem. It could be an addition equation or a subtraction equation, whichever one works best for your brain. Then down here, you're going to write the answer. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Down here, you're going to write the answer to the question, how many blue marbles do I have? And that's all for this Google Doc. So if you have any questions, come to office hours and I'll help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.